Hi, this is Trey Pass. I'm going to do a reaction to Batman Kate Crusader. This is the season one, episode two. I love the really, the first episode, so and that featured the penguin. Uh, a little gender swap, which I didn't mind. Okay, and this one is called And Be a Villain. So I don't know who the villain is of this, but it's, that's the title of it, And Be a Villain. So we'll see who Batman's going to fight in this one. And we also got introduced to Rupert Thorne. We know that. And we know now that Batman doesn't have the best relationship with Alfred. He calls him Pennyworth. <laughs> okay, we, we got introduced to Barbara Gordon and her father. She's a lawyer in this, Barbara. So, and we know that the cops are dirty in Gotham, as usual. <laughs> okay, so let's get right to it. Okay, and get uh, and react to this. And please hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll be right back with my reaction. Let me put my, put my headphones on. Okay. Okay. Got my water. Okay, so let's get to this. Okay, here we go. Right now, go. Nice car. Who's this baby getting out of this one? Okay, good night. Forty-two thirty-five. Whoa! Maybe I could just write a check for what? <laughs> We're here to talk about a missing woman, not a speeding ticket. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I'm trying to be helpful, mm -hmm. but I'd also like to keep my family name out of the papers, if mm -hmm. possible. It's oh. Detective Montoya, Mr. Uh -oh. Wayne. And not everything is for sale in the city. Oh. I'm not interested in dragging you through the mud. I just want to find Yvonne Francis. Mm -hmm. Your butler says you dropped Miss Francis off at 11? 10.52. Mm -hmm. Most people can't do that. Remember an exact time like that? Mm -hmm. Yvonne was starting a new movie the next morning. She had an early call time, so I was watching the clock. Don't say anything else. This is Lucius Fox, mm. my lawyer. Mr. Mm -hmm. Wayne is assisting in a missing persons case, Mr. Fox. You're funny. Ah. Any further questions will go through me. Ah. Nice meeting you, Detective. Mm. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> it seems to me, sir, that you might be better served pursuing your own investigation. Mm. She could be an asset. And mm. of course, this will help us locate Miss Francis that much sooner. Yes, that yep. too. It's frustrating. I really thought I was getting somewhere before the attorney got here. What's my point? Not a sign of Francis, not a word. Nothing for two days now. Oh. What's wrong here, boss? I can feel it. I can feel it. So what's your next move? I'm going to the movies. Detective Montoya, I'm wondering if you could answer a few questions about Yvonne Francis, Mr. Carlo. Yvonne, I'd be happy to. Please come in. We've been in half a dozen features together. Mm. Normally I play the heavy who comes leering after her damsel in distress. Ah. <laughs> I may have caught a few of those. We all have our parts to play. But she was becoming, well, troubled. When you say the wrong crowd? They were rumors. I didn't heed them. Mm. Perhaps I should have. Hmm. And this one was last Tuesday. There's Miss Francis. Hmm. The dress is an Edith head. It's very hmm. nice. Let me see. Huh. And Mr. Haynes doesn't have anything scheduled with Mr. Carlo today. Oh. She knows he lied. I'm looking for Basil Carlo. Is he still on the lot? No. Mr. Carlo left about an hour ago. Ah! The hell? What the hell? One, Jesus. Two, four, six, two, Slate Terrace, apartment 3G. Who's that? I thought that was Clayface, man. This is Scarecrow. Whoa. Come in. Whoa. Oh, it is Clayface. Oh, that's Clayface. Relax, Miss Francis. Hmm. I should ruin your makeup. Wait, wait! Come back here! Oh, Jesus. Help! Oh, someone help me! Whoa. If it's, it's not too late. Don't be so hard on yourself, Renee. You took a big risk making me a detective. Hmm. I've let you down. Not yet, hmm. you haven't. <laughs> Mr. District Attorney, hmm. how's the Yvonne Francis case coming? Well, it's now part of the Basil Carlo murder investigation, so at the moment, I'd say not very well. Make us both look good. Will anyone do, or should I focus on finding the actual murderer? <laughs> You're a pistol detective. Case like this could do wonders for my mayoral campaign. Really? Good luck with the crime fighting Gotham's finest. Oh, and you too, Bullock. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> now, if you don't want that overage coming out of your pocket, Hmm. You're gonna find me another screamer to replace the Francis girl, and you're gonna do it today! <laughs> what does he want? I suspect he wants to know if he's still got a movie to direct. Uh, okay, fair enough. Just set it up. Hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 
What do you want? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, Well, lovely to look at, Miss Francis is no Gloria Swanson. Anything useful? Hmm. Some sort of silicate. Peculiar. Get the mercury vapor lamp. Hmm. You know you. A monogram, perhaps? An abbreviation. Monoscope Pictures Wardrobe. Yeah. Our killer has access to the studio. Hmm. Basil Carlo was one of the finest actors it has been my privilege to work with, Detective. <laughs> I'd go so far as to call him one of the finest actors of our generation. Mm. Incomparable. <laughs> but he didn't have the right look. He didn't have the right face. What? Face? Oh. There was a story in the Gazette a couple months back about you and Miss Francis. Oh, Yvonne worked with Carlo a half dozen times. Mm. The last one was Tower of Fear. Did he enjoy working with Miss Francis? Mm. That's one way to put it. Ah. He had it bad for her. Did you feel the same way? I don't Plus. think so, but don't get me wrong. She had enormous respect for Basil. She mm. felt he'd been cheated. Mm. It's terribly unfair. With your talent, you should be a leading man, Basil. If, mm. if only... If only I didn't look like this. Yes. Yes. Oh. It's cruelty to Basil made him ideal for certain parts. But not oh. the parts he wanted. No. Which oh. is undoubtedly what drove him to that lunatic con man, Jack Elman. Better than that. The treatment will remake your career, Basil. Mm. I just need some time and some more money. Anything, Jack. I need a miracle. Mm. You're as stupid as you are ugly. You can't rush something like this. You're oh. nothing but a fraud. Wow. That's it, Elman. You're fired. Yeah. Security had Elman off the lot within mm. minutes. No, no, no! Away from the camera, son, away from the camera! But I thought, no! You're not a thinker, you're an actor! You're... Whoa. Whoa. Run. Run. Whoa! Whoa. way around the thing. Hmm. Too safe. Oh. oh man, what is that? Pennyworth. Sir? Give me two minutes, then call the police. Monoscope oh. pictures beneath stage H. I've found two bodies. Oh, Lou Valentine and the movie star Daryl Manning. I'd oh, say they've been man. dead at least a day. This is Montoya. I'm in the East End. 847 Lark Avenue. Requesting additional backup on suspect Elman. Jack. This is Flash. We're on the way. Hmm. Dirty cops. Yeah, look like you're gonna have to investigate on your own. Be careful. Yes? Hmm. Montoya, police. You Jack hmm. Elman? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, man. Ah. After I was fired, I needed a place to continue my work. Mm -hmm. The treatment you offered Carlo, was that part of your work? Oh, you... you heard about that. Clay. It was... experimental. I'm a detective, mm. Mr. Elman. It's what mm. I do. You didn't make it easy, if that's mm. any consolation. But what? some people like to do things the hard way. What about you? Oh! <laughs> there you go. It gets hard. Whoa! Clay face. Whoa! Hmm. Whoa. Call your face. Carlo? Very good, detective. Do you want the whole tale, detective? Yes. Of all the years, all the parts lost because of my face. Hmm. But how Elman promised he could fix it. Whoa. They said I could have played a thousand parts if not for my face. But now I have a face that actually could play a thousand parts. <laughs> that I could finally be the star she'd seen in me. <gasps> Don't be alarmed, Yvonne. It's me, Basil. <laughs> I'm yours, darling. <laughs> no, no. Get away from me. Oh. But she... She rejected me. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> she refused to play her part. Oh, really? I can be anyone, fool everyone, <laughs> including you. <laughs> 
when I interviewed Manning. That was you. Yep. Oh, yes, it was. I, wow. I used his own serum on him before I killed him. Oh. So what is it? Everything you've done is all about revenge? <laughs> Meaning you've gotten a taste for murder. Yep. I have. And I'm not finished yet. Whoa. 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 Uh, uh, hmm. It's ironic that it took me losing my career and my love to see it. Hmm. But after a lifetime of playing the heavy, the thug, the brute, the scoundrel, I have realized it was perfect casting all along. Oh, for the love of Pete. Yeah. I don't believe you. Yeah. What? I killed Elman and Valentine. Yeah. I killed... I don't believe your performance. You're chewing on scenery, relying yeah. on makeup effects to enhance weak characterization. I'll show you real! Yeah. Whoa! Batman! I absolutely will. Police! Everyone freeze! Oh, now you show up? What? Damn it! <laughs> no, you just let the bat escape! Hmm. Allow me, Miss Francis. <laughs> Thank you, but I've had enough horror in the past few days. Ah. I had the bug. We're not done, you and me. Of course we're not done. Uh -huh. Okay, that was a good episode, Clayface. Because Clayface, he looked a little bit like, like the way, uh, I think what version it was, where they had, he had that sort of um, uh, Scarecrow look. Uh, Scarecrow had that look with a big hat and all that stuff, but that was Clayface. I did it from the when he got punched and you saw that face. <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, you, you know, you do feel sympathy for him because he was, you know, like I said, he was in love with, with the girl and plus he couldn't play the parts and she knew he had talent too, but, you know, he couldn't literally do something so it made him go to this doctor who experimented on him and then his face couldn't stay solid. He could imitate people but his face wouldn't stay solid. That's, that's just so, again, and he, like I said, he developed a taste for murder. And so he had to be put down, unfortunately. And again, more you know, now we know Bullock and well, we already knew Bullock, Bullock and Flash, the dirty cops. They didn't even show up until too late after the fact. And Montoya, we got to know Detective Montoya, and she was a pretty good cop. And again, and then she found Batman's bug that he left. <laughs> okay, so she said, "We're not finished, you and I." <laughs> I like that. So that was good. This was a good episode, with Clayface. I like Clayface's again. One of the good villains and stuff. So I like this episode with the old time actors and stuff. It was pretty good. So anyway, let me know what you think of this episode of Batman episode two, which was was called and be a villain. Okay, which featured Clayface. What do you think of it? Did you have sympathy for him? I had sympathy for him. Okay, but you know, like I said, he had a taste for murder, so he had to be put down. Of course, unfortunately. Anyway, uh, in the description box, please hit the like, subscribe button. In the description box, I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. Also, have a link to my other channel for views and opinions. We check that out as well. Also, have a link down below to my Patreon. And again, my Patreon is only five dollars a month. Tons of content on there. Tons of unedited content on there. I got everything from, uh, got everything bro over 180 videos, and I have everything broken down into collections. I have a uh, Star Wars TV show collection, a DC TV show collection, a Marvel TV show collection, a movie collection. And a uh, and the boys and Gen V collection. So everything broken down into collections, so it's easier to navigate through it. Okay, so please, if you want to support me that way, follow the link in the description box. Also, I have a merch store. So and again, uh, some of the merch that I ordered from my original design uh, that came today, and I'll be wearing it in future videos. Okay, I ordered a water bottle and two shirts, so I should be wearing that probably when I use my web camera because I think that's because this is my iPhone. And I can't get, I mean, you can see part of it, me, but you can't see the whole part with my web camera. It's a lot easier because you can get a bigger picture of me. 
So uh, you'll be, I'll be trying to um, uh, film stuff with there, like reviews and stuff, so you can see me in my uh, in my merch. Okay, so follow the link down below to my merch, and I have, I, I, and I also I'm gonna order because uh, I have this uh, YouTuber named Jay designed a uh, a bunch of uh, uh, my logo, my YouTube username, logo Trey Passer, and I put it on a bunch of items, shirts, hats, mugs, everything else, and sweatpants, hoodies, and stuff. And I am gonna buy a hoodie, but I'm gonna buy two T-shirts. It's just you know since it's August now, so it's still you know warm. So I'll just buy two T-shirts and. Probably I'll wait till maybe September to buy a sweat, a hoodie, because again I like the design of it. Okay, so again follow the link down below to the you know to the merch store and and see if you want to support me that way. Also please give this video a thumbs up; it helps the channel, and I truly appreciate. It. Also hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you know when I upload new content to this channel. And this is Trey Passer saying so long and take care.